Hi guys, I thought I'd do another chit chat get ready with me. Don't mind my hair, it's pinned up because it's air drying. I just got out of the shower. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart today and I purchased two items um, just to try. This was after my dentist appointment, which this side of my face is numb. I realized I can do a trick where only this side is working. Watch. Is that creepy? <laughs> I don't even know if you guys care, but this whole face can't, like this whole side of my face is not moving. Um, doesn't matter. Um, that was gross and I apologize now. Uh, so I got the Marcel Flawless Classic Ivory Silk Fusion Foundation to try. Now this is oil free all day wear hydrating and hypoallergenic. So we will see. It also says auto adapting pigment. So I don't know because anytime I've ever tried anything that is auto adapting, um, it tends to go yellow after a time. And with my pink undertone, I find that really annoying. So we will see how the classic ivory works out. And then um, since everybody's been talking about it, I went ahead and I purchased the Sensitive Skin After Shave Balm as a primer. So I've heard good things about this. Uh, so we will go ahead and we will apply that first. So my initial feeling is it doesn't smell. I was worried it was going to smell like a distinct man smell. Um, so it didn't smell at all and I patted it on and it's still kind of drying but it feels really nice so far so we'll see how my makeup lasts. I am going to a bee farm today with my daughter and one of her friends so I will be outside all day so we'll see how both the products last. I'll probably check in with you guys after the end of my day just to see how it goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the Flawless Foundation by Marcel and I will be back with you guys. Set flowers, but you said you didn't receive them. But you said you didn't need them. That girl is a real crowd pleaser. So I decided only to go in with one coat today. I don't want to do a second layer just because my skin is really dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my concealer and my contouring and you guys can watch that. I am going to use for my concealer the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair and then I'm going to go with the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm just going to use the contour stick so you guys enjoy. Oh I have foundation under my fingernail I just realized that. I'll clean that up. <laughs> Just gonna use a big fluffy foundation brush and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in Natural Buff today. Just now going to go in with um, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's a light bronzer, um, great for fair skin. And I'm going to use a fluffy blender. So because my eyebrows have been feeling a little bit dark and harsh lately, I'm still going to go in with the Auburn by Revlon Color Stay, but I'm just going to keep it really simple today. I'm going to brush my brows in place. And then I'm just going to do, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm just going to do the straight up lines today. That way it's not too crazy. I might just fill that top in. I'm not going to bother filling in the brow. And then 
I'm leaving the top part kind of blank for now until I see how dark it goes. And then I'm just going to work it in with the spoolie. I'm having a rough go with my brows lately. I don't know if it's because my hair is lighter or what's going on. I go in and out of brow stages, guys. When my hair is freshly colored, it's a lot easier. But when um, sometimes I can get so heavy handed, so I have to be so careful. And there's not that perfect blonde state, like one that's like a honey blonde. And I'm on the quest for it, if any of you guys know. I would love um, to know which kind. Maybe I just, again, need to go to Sephora and check it out. Okay. Well, I'm not really happy with that, but it's going to be my brow today. I'm not doing a heavy eye look, so <clears throat> um, I'm sure once everything's done, it should be okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other brow. You know what? I'm going to grab my little face razor. It's always this brow, and I'm just going to try bringing this one down. You got to be really careful with these guys. You don't want to take too much of your brow away. But no um, brows are going to be the same or look alike, and I'm aware of this. But uh, I don't want one being thicker than the other. So I'm just going to even that line out and pray to the eyebrow gods that my brows will look remotely uh, decent. Okay, I'm just gonna work that spoolie in a little bit more on this one brow. I think it's hard too if you're a makeup artist that likes doing your brows before you do any of your makeup. <clears throat> Sometimes the eyebrows can really throw you off because you prefer putting your brows on before you do anything else. So you can sometimes go, whoa, that's a brow. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm just going to prime my eyes. Because the Maybelline Fit Me in 230 um, Natural Buff is quite dark for my skin, um, usually I use it in the summertime and I had used it as a powder to set on my eyes and I don't know if you guys can see how dark and how yellow that is. I'm just gonna work this in with a big fluffy. Um, obviously I'm not thinking today because I was gonna go for a really natural eye but that's uh, <laughs> that's quite dark. It's funny how we have our summer and our winter shades guys. I'm slowly transitioning to using my ivories again. I'm stopped using my fake tan. So um, even though summer's not really over, it's starting to feel over. It's getting chillier. It's happening. I looked over at my neighbor's yard the other day and I thought, oh, I saw the leaves on the ground and looked over and it just felt cold and dreary that day and I thought about winter and I'm not looking forward to winter. Okay, so I buffed that in and I'm feeling a little bit better. Now my face, because of the bronzer, it's still a bit, needs a little bit better of blending. So I'm just gonna work that in. I think I'm gonna keep it really simple though today, guys. So I'm just gonna figure out what I'm gonna do on my eyes and I'll be right back. So I'm going to take the Sephora brand eye crayon in golden khaki and I'm going to just try just doing my underneath today and then following it through with mascara. Um, I guess you could say I'm just living dangerously. So this Clovermead bee farm that I'm going to is a local bee farm but it also has like an adventure um, area for the kids. So all these fun things for kids to do. And then they've got some goats and things like that. So this will be fun. It was one of my daughter's um, daycare friends. It's her last week of daycare. And her mom asked if I wanted to go so the girls could get together because they're going to be going to different schools. The town where I live has a fair amount of schools. And I'm sure the towns where everybody else lives has a fair amount of schools too. But um, they're, the two girls are going to several schools. So I'm just doing the inside water line. And then I'm going to go underneath a little bit just to kind of smoke that out. 
some. And then I'll probably grab a pencil afterwards. You know what? I think I'm gonna grab a shadow actually. Okay, I will be right back. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC color in, what is this one? Um, Sumptuous Olive. This is one of my favorite shades, guys. And I'm just gonna do a stiffer, um, flat kind of blending brush. And I'm just gonna tuck that into the color. And I'm gonna start applying that to my waterline and underneath my eye. This could go one of two ways. Sometimes I like the underneath smoky and then sometimes I'm like, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> so, you never know. It is what it is. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna tie a little bit, pull a little bit onto the corner. Not a lot. I just want to keep it, oh, I love how I'm like, I just want to keep it a little bit subtle. Okay, I'm just going to find another brush to uh, work this in a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to speed up me kind of blending it back and forth. So, give me a second. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents you look so proud standing there with the found in a cigarette posting pictures of yourself on the internet out on the terrace we breathe in the air of this small town on our own cutting glass with the thrill of it getting drunk on the past we were living in i'm just gonna take the mac brand in shroom with a little brush and i'm going to highlight the inside of my um tear duct Kind of like this area. I haven't used this shade in a while, so it's got a bit of fallout. Okay. But shroom is a great color for uh, blending in. And I'm just pulling this into the kind of corner. And I might highlight the top of my brow bone a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with my mascara. I'm just gonna go in with the Super Sizer Fibers by CoverGirl. So I'll speed that up so you guys can watch. Now I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Brown Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna do the inside waterline um, the entire length of my iris. Just that little area. I don't know how well this will stay because I don't feel like setting it with powder today. If you set it with powder, it will last longer. You guys are going to see that I love doing the center of my eye a lot. Okay, so that's done. It is what it is. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> figure out what I'm going to put on for blush. I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Glowing Nude Blush. I've hit pan. And you can tell that I really like this side opposed to this side. So I'm just gonna apply that with a blush brush. And I'm gonna sweep that into my face and work that into circular motions onto my cheeks. I hope everybody's been having a great summer. It always flies by so much and I hope my daughter has fun today and really enjoys herself because Whew, you know, people are right. The older you get, the more it flies by. So I'm going to really try to take this moment in and enjoy it with my daughter. You know, I felt guilty because we weren't going on a faraway trip or anywhere crazy. And, you know, but it's the simple things. It's the simple things like them running around in the backyard, experiencing things for the first time, wanting you to watch. Okay, I'm just going to put this a little bit on my hood of my eye like just a little bit of the pink because that was quite yellow the other color and a little bit on the tip of my nose and just really work this in I like this physician's formula you can keep building so it's nice if you're you get a little worried about wearing blush 
but once you guys get to know me, I love my blush as long as it's not too crazy. I do love good blush. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to figure out the highlighter. Okay, I'm going to go with my Anastasia Glow Palette, you guys. So I've been using it a lot. And today, I'm just going to actually go in with a mix of Forever Lit and maybe a dot of Daydream. And I'll just put that with a fluffy blender. So I've dipped into Forever Lit and I did a dot of Daydream. I'm going to top it off and I'm just going to work that to the apples of my cheeks. I really like this um, Glow Palette. You know, I haven't had uh, any good highlighters in a long time, so, and one of my old friends had the Bobbi Brown one, but it was way too dark for my skin. I'm, I'm liking this one, because some of them I can use, this palette, I mean, some of them I can use as blushes, depending on how fair I am, and then some of them I can use as highlighters. So, you know, it's a great product. Okay, so I got my glow a little on the tip of my nose. Okay, and then I'm going to figure out my lipstick. I'm not going to bother lighting my lips today. I'm going to just go in the, the NYX lingerie, and you will see this color in my nude swatches, but this is the Ruffle Trim, so I'll try that on. I'll speed that up for you. Hi guys, I hope you liked this video and this chit chat get ready with me. It was funny when I was putting on my lipstick and I tried to rub my lips together. <laughs> I'm still numb on this side. So it was like, I can't even feel this area like up in here. So <laughs> trying to rub your lips together, um, even to speak out of this side, it must be hard. Um, with anybody who has paralysis, paralysis of the face. Did I say that right? I don't want to sound rude. Um, <clears throat> or have had a, has had a stroke. This is, uh, it really makes you appreciate when you um, have full feeling in your mouth. But I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you all next time. And uh, maybe I'll film a little bit of Clover Me today for you guys. And I'll do a short little video. How's that sound? Actually, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.